David cried out in Psalm 51 and 10. He said, create within me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. You know, that's the difference in David and Saul. When Saul was told he had sinned by Samuel the prophet, what Saul did was grab on to Samuel and say, walk with me before the people. Though he said, I've sinned, he said, but still, let me wear the kingly robe and let's look the part. Just go with me before the people. He didn't care if he didn't have God with him. He just wanted to have the people with him. Come on, somebody. He was more people-minded than he was God-minded. Come on, somebody. And, 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 and listen, he, 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 he weren't repenting, kind of like Judas and the difference between Judas and Peter. Judas, the Bible said, went out and repented himself. In Matthew 27 and 5, somebody shot, he was sorry he got caught. He repented himself and didn't say he turned to God. He was just sorry he got caught. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He had remorse, not repentance. And there's a difference. He didn't have no godly sorrow. The sorrow he had was just, sorry, my God, I got caught while I was doing it. And so he went out and hang himself. Somebody shout, that kind of sorry will lead you to kill yourself. He went to the wrong tree. Somebody shout, the right tree is the cross at Calvary. Come on, somebody. It's the bloody tree where Jesus shed his blood. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, suicide's the wrong tree. You come to this tree, you can live. You can live unashamed, uncondemned, and go free at this tree. Hallelujah. And Peter, the Bible said, amen, when Jesus told him in Luke chapter 22, amen, let's just back up before I get there. Luke 22, verse 31 and 32, Jesus looked at Peter and called him by his old name. He said, Simon, Simon. Satan has desired to have you that he might sift you as wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. Look at your neighbor and say, you ought to shout on that one. Jesus has got you covered. My God, I ain't going back to church. Nobody's prayed for me. Jesus ever lives and makes intercession for us. Come on, somebody. Hebrews 7 and 24. And here he is. Amen. Jesus says, I have already prayed for you before the devil could ever get to you. Hallelujah. And listen to what he said. I've prayed for you that your faith fail not. He said, therefore, when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. Hallelujah. Jesus told Peter, you're about to mess up, son. You're about to mess up so big. You're going to deny you even know me. Hallelujah. He said, but I done prayed for you. I've already interceded for you. Hallelujah. You're going to fail your faith, but your faith is not going to fail you. Anybody ever failed your faith? In God. Well, I want you to know you may have failed your faith in God, but faith, come on, somebody, the God of your faith will never fail you. I've failed my faith, but my faith has not failed me. Come on, somebody. Here, Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, I pray for you. He said, and when you're converted, when you come back, somebody say the comeback. When you come back, go strengthen your brethren because you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one that's messed up and blew it big time. Hallelujah. And so Jesus tells him, hey man, around, I believe it's around verses um, 60, 61 and 62, hey man, of Luke 22, uh, Jesus is eating with his disciples and Peter speaks up, you know, he, uh, his mouth was the biggest thing about him, son. He, 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 would, uh, he had opened his mouth. He weren't scared to speak out. Hallelujah. And he said, Jesus, I, I'm ready both to go to prison and to die for you. And Jesus told him, he said, Peter, before this day is over with, before the cock crows, before the chicken, before the rooster gives a divine cock-a-doodle-doo for your wake up, come on somebody, hallelujah, you're going to deny me thrice or three times. And that's exactly what took place. 
place. Hallelujah, because the Bible said after Peter had denied him three times, hallelujah, in Pilate's hall, hallelujah, Jesus just looked at him. Somebody shout, just the look of love. Jesus looked at him, amen, blood running down his face because they'd been beating him and hitting him. Hallelujah, they'd put a crown of thorn on his hands. Hallelujah, amen, and Jesus just looks at him and Peter goes out and weeps bitterly, sorrowfully. Somebody shout, he repented. Hallelujah. And when Jesus was raised from the dead, what did he tell the women in Mark 16 and 7? He said, go tell Peter and my disciples that I'll meet them in Galilee like I said, and there they'll see me. He knew Peter needed that special affirming, affirmation. Come on, somebody. Hey, man, because Peter, hey, man, had denied him publicly, but Jesus said, I acknowledge you publicly. Hallelujah. Because when I looked at you before they crucified me, hallelujah, you run somewhere and you cried out, oh, God, forgive me. Oh, hallelujah. Think about it. We've all denied him at some time in our walk in our way that we've went. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? But I've come to tell you, hallelujah, the same one that told Peter, amen, in Matthew 16, he said, behold, I give unto you the keys to the kingdom, verse 19. Somebody shout, daddy gave him the keys. But when he messed up, daddy didn't take the keys away from him because he come back to daddy. He come back. Somebody shout, that's all you gotta do. If you, if you just ever mess up, somebody shout, you ain't gotta miss out, just come on back. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody shout, when you fail and you will, hallelujah, because that's what a fall is. Just come on back. Somebody shout loud, just get back. Get back. Hallelujah. Because he'll take you back. He'll restore you back. 